Welcome to the Limerick J Championship draw this evening. We are joined by journalists Jack Neville and Jerome O'Connell and the chairman of the Limerick Hurling County Board, Seamus McNamara. Seamus, welcome. Thank you very much, Valerie. I'd, I'd love, at the outset, I'd like to welcome, welcome everyone here tonight and uh, acknowledge the presence of Jerome, Jerome O'Connell, Limerick leader, Jerry Phillips, football board chairman, and Michael Reardon, our county secretary, and the back row in Cape Nineus. I suppose this is the time of the year we all look forward to, to draws for the, the club championships, which is very important to the clubs. And I'm quite sure we'll have another great 12 months of club championship games. So at the outset, we're going to start with the Bond Secure Sino Holland Championship draw. There'll be two groups of six, and Valerie, I'll, Valerie will call the names and I'll, I'll pull the balls here in a couple of seconds. Is that okay? And I'd like to thank Valerie Wheeler as well for helping us with the draw. All right, we have two groups of six and we're going to kick off with the County Senior Hurling Championships draw. So we're going to put in six balls, Seamus. Okay. We're going to take the... One, two, three, four, that's fine. Five, six. Thanks. So in this group, it's group one. This is Adair, Ahan, Dune, Kilmalloc, Napiershig and Patrick's well. Okay. So give that a good spin, we'll Seamus. give that a good spin. First one out is number four. Number four, that is Kilmallock. Kilmallock. Okay. Leave Kilmallock out. And they'll be playing. The next one out is number six. That is Patrick's well. Okay. Lovely. Nice. Good, a good a start. Go, a good start to the hurling. The next one out is number five. That is Napiershig. Three. And that is Dune. So another one there for us. And the next one out is number one. That's Adair. Adair. And there we'll be playing number two. Number two, and that is a hand. Uh -huh. So that is the group one. Group one. And okay. we will go into group two, two now as well. So we're going to put back in the six balls. Number, we use the same one, six. Or we two, use three, four, five, six. Yeah, so right. in they go. Right. This is for group two. So this group is two. Bally Brown, Black Rock, Gary Splan, Kildimo, Palace, Ginry, Mungret, and South Liberties. We use the same six balls again. Okay. I'll give them a good spin again. First one out is number five. Number five, that is Mungret. The next one out is number four. That is Kildimo Palace Skinnery. <laughs> nice one for Jerome. The next one out is number one. That's Bally Brown. Number two. That is Black Rock. Black Rock. The next one out is number three. That is Gary Spillane. And number six is the final one. And that is South Liberties. So that is the two groups and the first round of the game. So Jerome, is there anything that stands out for you those and those two? Yeah, sure, there's uh, a number of interesting battles in, in that one, you know, and county champions, Kim Malloch, we now know, will we'll start their title defence against Patrick's Well, and, you know, that, that's a mouth-watering tie to, to start, you know, um, bring on July and, and, and August already, but, you know, across the board, quite a number of games. Adair versus Ahan is, is going to be a very big game in round one as well, you know, they're the two sides that haven't been maybe semi-finalists for the last number of years, so getting early points on the board would be a huge thing for them in terms of avoiding the, the drop down maybe to, to section B. So that both those teams will really want to hit the ground running for that one because it, it'll be a really big game for them. And, you know, section B as well, Mungers returning to, to the senior ranks after, you know, a long number of years. And, and they meet, you know, not quite near neighbours, but, but certainly uh, rivals along the N69, Kildima Palaskinri in their first game. So, yeah, uh, a couple of ties already that stand out. 
Yeah, Jack, what about for you? Yeah, obviously you have a repeat of last year's final in the first round. The four teams have been semi-finals for the last five years. Kilmallock, Passwell, Napiershing and Dune. That was obviously the semi-finals in 2019. And as Jerome said about a day and a half, I suppose that will give one of them a chance to get off to the perfect start to try and break in to that last four, which has been dominated by those teams. And obviously Munger St. Paul's and Kilayo Palace was the Premier inter Intermediate Final in 2020, obviously, and Munger will be looking to get one over on them. And, just a brilliant draw. If you were to pick it out, if you were looking to draw and pick it out, those would probably be your six ties. Yeah, that yeah. was the Bonskir County Senior Hurling Club Championship draw. So if you just bear with us, we will be back in a minute as we get set up for the intermediate. Thank you, Valerie. Thanks, Jack. Well, we're oh. back. We're back again, so lads, for, for the Lions of Premier Intermediate Hurling Championship. And as we all know, this is probably one of the best champs we've had for years. Very interesting, very competitive. And there is no seeding in this at all. It's the eight teams who are going to the drum, and the matrix and the officers and the county board will decide games the way they the way they fall. So we'll start off so Valerie with that, and I'd like to welcome Jack Neville as well for helping us with this as well. Okay, we're going to put in, okay, this is it. one group of eight, so we're going to put in the, these eight balls, Shayas. Yes. Perfect, man. Lovely. This is Brock, Cappenmore, Drummond Athlaka, Effen, Glenroe, Nocaney, Monlean and Newcastle West. Now, the first one out, Valerie, is three. That is Drummond Athlaka. The next one out is six. That is Nocaney. The next one out is four. That is Effen. The next one out is one. That is Ruff. The next one out is two. That is Kappa Moore. Now seven. That is Monaline. The next one out is eight. That is Newcastle West. And the final ball out is five. That's Glenru. Glenru. Okay, that's the, the draw for the Intermediate Holland Championship. Looking at that, Jerome, anything there that takes your fancy? Yeah, uh, round one, we, we now know that we'll have two kind of South Limerick. Uh, Battles there, Drumratlaka and Nakani and Effen will, will play Brough. Uh, Newcastle West, I suppose, you know, went, went so close uh, last year and they'll, they'll renew rivalries with Glenroo. They've had 
plenty, plenty of battles in the last number of years. And Captain Moore won Lean Remeet as well in round one. And Dave, you know, had plenty of recent rivalry as well. So, yeah, you know, a, a couple of good games to start there. And of course, you know, it's a seven game championship. So, you know, much to play for for all teams, but a couple of nice ones just to get it underway. Yeah, some interesting ties, Jack. Yeah, like Captain Moore, obviously, were in the final last year. Playing Mona Lean, were relegated. So it'll be kind of a case of Captain Moore will be trying to push Mona Lean further down and vice versa. But yeah, like in a seven game championship, if you can get a run started early, you could probably afford to lose in the middle. So yeah, it'll be, de it'll be definitely interesting to see who gets off the mark early doors, but very interesting ties again. That is the Premier Intermediate Hurling Championship draw. If you just bear with us a minute, we'll be back to, with the Intermediate Hurling Championship draw. Welcome back. It is time for the Intermediate Hurling Championship draw. We have 12 teams and two groups of six, but we have four seeded teams, first of all, going into our drum. So that's Brewery, Croke Kilfinney, Granite Ballingarry and Rue Boher. So this is Brewery goes in first, so that's one, Seamus, okay? Perfect, thank you. We have four Croke Kilfinney, six Granite Ballingarry and ten Rue Boher. So these are going to come out. We're going to put them into group one and group two and vice versa as they come out. We would like so. to thank Nick Green for sponsoring this Intermediate Holland Championship. <laughs> so, the first seeded team out, will go into group one, yep. will be number 10. That is Maru Bohar. The next seeded team out will go into group two, and that is number six, Valerie. That is Grana Ballingarry. The next one out, we'll go back into group one. 
And that's number one. Brewery. Brewery. And the final one then, which is number four, goes into group two. That is Croke Kill Finney. Finney. All right, so now the now, rest will go in. The rest will go in. The, f the eight remaining teams now will go in. Yep. One in teams room as we go along. Every second ball. So, so you can take all we'll these just check top these ones. Up. We have them right there. You can call the numbers me and I'll put them in just to make sure we're right. Yeah, we have two Caroline. Two Caroline, okay. We have three Croom. Three Croom. Yeah, okay, keep going. Have we five, Johanna? Five, five, Johanna Castleman. Seven, Herb Hospital Herbertstown. Seven, Hospital Herbertstown, yeah. Eight, Kilmallock. Eight, Kilmallock. Nine, Nakaderi. Nine, Nakaderi. Eleven, Napiersig. Eleven, Napiersig. And twelve, Palace Green. Twelve, Palace Green. And every, every second group is calm as the ball has come out. They're going to each group. Okay, the first one out, which will go into group one. Valerie is number three, Valerie. That is Croom. Croom. The next, the next one out, which will go into group two, will be number seven. That is Hospital Herbertstone. Seven. We're going back into group one again. And the next one out is number two. That is Caroline. Caroline. The next one out, this will go to group two, is number eight. That is Kilmallock. Kilmallock, okay. Next one out is number 11. That is Napiersig. Napiersig. Next one out is number nine. That is Nakaderi. Nakaderi. Back to group one again. The final round, number five. That is Fiona. Fiona, and the final one goes into the final group two, number 12. That is Palace Green. Palace Green. So we can see on your screen, we'll take a look at the two groups there in just a moment once we have them on the screen. Yeah. Jerome, taking a look at those. Yeah, um, in, interesting groups. I suppose group one has, has two newcomers in a way to the intermediate ranks with, with Maru Bohr, who were relegated down, and with Caroline, who were promoted up. So two, two new teams there. Uh, also, just maybe noteworthy, the uh, Napiersig and Kilmallock have been kept apart in opposite groups. They've been uh, together in, in, in recent years. And, uh, yeah, o overall, uh, in interesting groups. I um, think, you know, a lot of teams there will see potential for, for reaching the knockout stages. Yeah, definitely. I suppose, again, in a, in a six-team group, you have to start well. There isn't that room for error. I think the, the tie between Napiersig and Fiona really stands out. I think Fiona were knocked around for a while and probably slipped back in the last few years, but... They've been outside shouting. Obviously, in the Pierce, you're there, thereabouts every year. But as Jerome said, it's interesting that the Pierce and Kilmallock are on the offside of the draws. You could very easily see them in the final at the end of the year. That was the County Intermediate Hurling Championships. And bear with us as we get set up now for the Junior A Hurling Championship draw. OK, it is time now for the Woodlands House Hotel County Junior A Hurling Championship. There is 24 teams and four groups of six, so it's very competitive, Seamus. Very competitive championship. Probably one of the better championships you could look for at any time of the year. It's, it's definitely a dogfight every year to see who comes out of this, but it's, it's fabulous for the clubs. I suppose it entails the whole county. It's the one thing with the Junior Hurling Championship. You have every part of the county taken up with it, which is very good for it. Um, at the outset, I'd like to thank Conor Fitzgerald and the uh, Fitzgerald family and the Woodlands House Hotel for sponsoring the championship. And the, the first that they will be having four seeded teams, they'll be the first, and Valerie will, I'll put them in the drum and they'll go into four different groups as Conor as Valerie gives it to me, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you how it works. So we'll go with the four seeded teams for so, so Valerie. Perfect, so it is number three, Ballybrick and Bohermore. Num number three. Very brick and Bohemore. It is 20 St. Kieran's. St. Kieran's. 21 St. Patrick's. 21 St. Patrick's. And 24 Tornafulla. 24 Tornafulla. So, so in they go. In they go. Now the first one out is number three. That is Ballybrick and Bohemore. 
Rickenbottom Moor. The next one out is number 21. That's St. Patrick's. The next one out is number 20. That is St. Kieran's. And the next one out is number 24. That is Tornafulla. Tornafulla. So they're out into yeah. their groups. And into the next one groups. we're putting in now is the Severn Western teams. Seven Western teams. And they'll go into each group as we go along. You will probably end up with two West teams in, in most of the groups. Bar one, there'll be probably three in one group. So, Father, we'll go with him. So, next. Yeah, so in number two is a Skeeton. Number two. Then we have a Drum Broadford. Lovely, Valerie. Fina Kilmeady. That's number 11. And number 13 is Kilmeady. Number 15 is Mona Gay. Number 19 is Rathkeel. And number 23 is Temple Glanton. Lovely. So that's the seven West Clubs. And the first one out, and we're going to group one, is number 10. That is Drum Broadford. The next one out is number 13. That is Kilidi. The next one out is number two. That is Askeaton. Jack is happier. <laughs> next one out, 19. That is Rathkeel. Now, how are we going group wise, lads? Going okay. Next one out is number 23. That is Temple Glanton. Are we okay so far? Okay. Next one out is number 15. That is Mona Gay. Mona Gay. And the final one out is number 11. That is Athena Kilmeady. Lovely. So that are our seven Western teams and they're in their group. So now we need to put in the 13 remaining teams. Perfect. I'll call them out to Seamus Perfect. and we'll That's pop them in. That's ideal, well, right? So in number one is a hand. Number one, a hand. Number four is Bally Brown. Number four is Bally Brown. Number five is Black Rock. Number six is Castletown Ballygran. Number seven is Clahan. Number eight is Krakora. Number nine is Dune. Perfect. Number 12 is Gary Spillan. Number 14 is Kiltili Drumkeen. Number 16 is Mungret. Number 17 is Old Christians. Number 18 is Patrick's Well. And number 22 is Staker Wallace. Staker Wallace. Into, gr into group four. The first one out will go into group four. Number 12. That is Gary Spillane. All okay. Number five. That is Black Rock. Number one. That is Ahan. Ahan. Sixteen. That is Mungret. Fourteen. That is Kiltili Drumkeen. Number twenty-two. That is Staker Wallace. Twenty-two. Number six. Number six is Castletown Valley Wren. Number four. That is Bally Brown. Number eighteen. Patrick's Well. Number eight. Krakora Manister. Number seven. We're getting that. Clahan. It's Clahan. 
number nine. That is Dune. And the final one out is number 17. That is all Christians. So at this point, I'd like to thank, uh, before the lads start talking about the draw, I'd like to thank the Woodlands House Hotel for sponsoring this championship. As we know, it's one of our very good championships, and we'd like to thank them for that. As I would like to thank, once again, all our sponsors, I suppose all our media print, I'd like to say a big thank you to them. And I suppose to everyone that's helping us during the years, referees, everyone that does any little job at all, we appreciate it. And I'd like to say a big thank you to them. And once more, I want to offer apologies to John Craig and again, who couldn't make it. And I'm really looking forward to the whole lot this year, I suppose, with people back, the crowds back. I think it's going to be very good, Valerie and Jack and Jerome, Brilliant. I think. It's going to be a very good year ahead. And I'd also, once again, like to acknowledge the presence of our chairperson of the football board, Jerry Phillips, who will be looking after the football draw for us up next. And I'd like to wish all the football clubs as well the best of luck as well, coming from football side of the house as well myself. I'd like to wish them the very best of luck too in 2022. So at that point, we'll hand over to the Valerie and the lads to discuss what, what they make it. That's four groups of six. Jerome, a very competitive group. I mean, 24 teams, four groups, six. Yeah, it is, yeah. And, you know, it, it's always going to throw up local derbies as, as the year goes on. And, you know, straight away there, you can see a lot of neighbours grouped together, Black Rock and Sticker Wallace. Clahan will play St. Patrick's at some point. Uh, St. Kieran's and Askeaton, you know, St. Kieran's county finalists last year play Askeaton, and that'll be the first game for them, Turner Fuller, Raquel. Uh, you know, uh, across the board, there's going to be a lot of different local derbies across the, round, the five rounds of action. So, uh, yeah, it looked like four pretty even groups. Yeah, they're definitely even groups. I know from group three, or group two, Skeeton and Kieran's, and Mungris and Dune were in the group of Skeeton and Phoenix Media last year. So a lot of the teams will know each other very well. Um, it's very hard to call a winner from the start. You saw Caroline and Kieran's last year. Very few would have picked them out from the start. So it's all about getting a run in this championship. But yeah, it could be anyone. Brilliant. Well, that is the hurling draw. Thank you to Seamus That's as well. For Thank you very much. Thank the full Thanks, fixtures will be sent to the clubs in due time. So once we get set up for the football, we'll be back in a few. Okay. Thanks, for, thanks very much. Thanks a lot.
All right, welcome back. It is time for the Irish Wire Products County Senior Football Championship draw. So we have 12 teams and there's two groups of six. So joining us to do the football is Jerry Phillips, chairman. Jerry, welcome. Thank you very much, Valerie. Uh, good evening, folks. You're all very welcome to the 2022 uh, Football Championship draws. Uh, we're joined here this evening with Valerie Wheeler on my left, Jack Neville and Jerome O'Connell. And also, these are Sharon McNamara, the chairperson of the CCC, and Michael Reardon, uh, county secretary. And which I'd like to thank with the, the acknowledge, which is the presence of the media as well. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, we'll get on with the draws. And I'd like, be, before we start, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Penny Mulville of Irish Wear Products on the Dock Road, which have had their generous sponsorship again this year, and it's much appreciated. And we continue now, and with our last Valerie to. Valerie, take us through with the, the, the procedure here. Yeah, so we're going to have um, 12 teams, two groups of six. So first, we're going to put in the four teams, the seeded teams. All right, so I'm going to call them out to you, Jerry, and you can pop them in. It's number one, Adair. It is number seven, Galti Gales. It's number nine, Mona Lean. And number 10, Newcastle West. So they're going to come out and they're going to go into their groups. Give it a good spin. So the into group one. First out is number nine. Number nine, that is Mona Lean. Next out is number seven. That is Galti Gales. Number 10. Number 10 is Newcastle West. And the last one is number one. And number one is Adair. All right, so there are seeded teams. So now we need to put the rest of them in, all right? Jerry, so I'm going to give you number two is Ballylanders. Number three is Ballysteen. Number four is Clahan. Number five is Father Casey's. Number six is Galbally. Number eight is Kildimo Palace Kenry. Number 11 is Ula. And number 12 is St. Kieran. So we're going to pop them in and they're going to come out into their groups as well. And you will be seeing the groups up on your screen when we're finished in just a few minutes. So first out is that is number six. six. That's Galbally. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a glasses. I'd yeah, say Jerry, the two of us. Number three. Number three is Ballysteen. Number four is Clahan. Number two. That is Ballylanders. Number five. That is Father Casey's. Twelve. That is St. Kieran's. Number eleven. That's Ula. And the last one is number eight. Which is Kildimo Palace Skinnery. So that is our senior football championship. That is the groups there. Jerome, two groups, interesting groups. Yeah, certainly two two interesting groups. Um, Kildare and Palace Skinnery, the, the newcomers to the senior championship, and uh, you know they have a couple of neighbours in their group with Ballysteen and and Adair and St Kieran's wouldn't be too far away. Also a South Limerick Derby in that group too as well. Galtie Gales and uh, and Ballylanders. Uh, group one, you know, very interesting there as well. Newcastle West and Father Casey's uh, paired against each other again. Good West Limerick rivals. So yeah, good good, good spread of teams there. Um, obviously the the Two seeded teams in, in each group will, will fancy their chances, but overall it, it's pretty open, Jack. Yeah, I suppose in Group One they'll all be gunning for Newcastle. They obviously beat four other teams along the way, and Ula as well, who they beat in the 2019 final. So, but it, it looks Newcastle's to lose in Group Two. Obviously, the, the meeting the Galtic Gales and there who were in the semi final last year is a very interesting one. And obviously, you have KP as Jerome said, have a lot of neighbours inside there, so it should be a very interesting championship. Well, that is our senior one, and now we're going to go to the Griffins Coaches County Intermediate Football Championship. And again, we have 12 teams and two groups of six. So this is the draw to take place to fill the two groups. And yet again, we have a seeded teams going in first, Jerry. All right, so I'm going to call out these two. Number five is Gerald Griffins. Number eight is Napiersig. Number 10 is Rathkeel. And number 12 is St. Sinan. So these are going to be put out into their groups. 
before we add the rest? Again, I suppose before we we'll make the draw, I'd like to thank Griffin Co uh, Griffin's coaches which, uh, again for their sponsorship again this year and uh, looking forward we'd say, to their continued support. First out. First out is number eight. That is Napier Sig. Number five. That is Gerald Griffins. Number 12. St. Sinans. And number 10. And that is Rathkeel. So there are four seeded teams. Now we're going to put the rest in and put them into their groups. So I'm going to give you this is the Intermediate Football Championship. This is number one is Brough. Number two is Krikora. Number three is Drum Broadford. Number four is Father Casey's. Six is Glynn. Seven is Mungret. Nine is Palace Green. And 11 is St. Patrick. So in they go, Jerry. In the wrong. So, first out is number one. That is Brough. Next out is number nine. That is Palace Green. Number six. That's Glynn. Number seven. That is Mungret. Number two. That is Krakora. Number four. That is Father Casey's. Number 11. 11 is St. Patrick's. And last is number three. Number three is Drum Broadford. So that is the Griffins Coaches County Intermediate Football Championship. You will be seeing the two groups on our screen right now. Jerome, having a look at those. Yeah, um, straight off, you can see a, a big uh, West Limerick presence there in, in Group 2. Uh, Jared Griffins and Rack Heel will, will meet in the first round. They had a ding down semi final last season, and then you throw in newcomers, Father Casey's and, and Drum Broadford into it as well. So four West Limerick teams there. Um, group one, you've got Napierce, you know, down from the senior ranks. Uh, everyone knows that when you when you get promoted, when you get uh, relegated, you really want to get back in your your first year. And uh, you know, they'll, they'll meet City rivals St Pat's as well in in, in that group, and uh, also Krakora Manister from the City Division in that group. So yeah, even enough spread. Um, you know, a lot of big derbies in Group Two, so maybe that's a, a tricky one. Yeah, it's a very competitive um, division, I suppose. There's a Probably six or seven teams there that have been in finals or in semi-finals recent years, and they'll all be harbouring genuine hopes of going up. I suppose for Father Casey's having a team in the senior and intermediate championship, which just goes to credit that the work that's been done there. But yeah, a very, very hard one to call. I suppose if you would have saw the Lion Palace Kennery coming up from intermediate last year, so it just goes to show it could be anyone's, anyone's, anyone's competition. And again, we said it all, all, all the evening. If you can get a good start, that's half the battle. Yeah, so that was our intermediate. Now we're going to move on to the Woodlands House Hotel County Premier Junior A Football Championship. Again, we have 12 teams and we're going to put in our four seeded teams first, Jerry. So I'm going to call them out to you. Number six is Croom. Number 10 is Monoline. Number 11 is Mount Collins. And number 12 is Newcastle West. So we're going to put them out and put them into group one and two. First out is number 12. That is Newcastle West. Number 11. Mount Collins. Number... Six. six. <laughs> That's Croom. <laughs> and number 10. And number 10 is Mona Lean. So there are four seeded teams. So now we're going to put the rest in. Okay, I'm going to call them out to you, Jerry. You can pop them in. Number one is Ethe. Number two is Bally Brown. Number three is Kappa. Number four is Kappamore. Number five is Castle Mahan. Number seven is Fina Kilmedy. Number eight is Kiltili Drumkeen. And number nine is Mona Gay. So again, we're popping them in and we're going to put them out into the group, Jerry. Number 
two. That is Bally Brown. Number seven. That is Fina Kilmeady. Number eight. That is Kiltili Drumkeen. Number nine. That is Mona Gay. Number one. That is Athe. Number four. That is Capamore. Number three. Is Kappa. And the last one is number five. That is Castle Mahan. So that is the draw for the Woodlands House Hotel Premier Junior A Football Championship. We have our two groups on screen now, Jerome, having a look at those. Yeah, uh, again, you know, very competitive group one straight away, uh, you know, jumps out, which is Newcastle West and Ete there, who were, you know, uh, both going well in, in last year's championship for, for a while. Uh, Monoline and uh, Fianna Kilmeady are, are newcomers to, to this championship after being relegated and promoted last year. And they're, they're both in, in group two uh, with Mount Collins. And Mount Collins, of course, represented Limerick in, in the... Uh, in, in the Munster Club Championship this year as well. So, yeah, I, again, you know, a, an even spread of teams and, um, you know, a couple of nice local derbies sprinkled in there as well. So, yeah, pretty decent two groups. Yeah, very even again, I suppose. Newcastle West, after reaching the final last year, will, will be looking to go one better. I suppose interesting for Mon Lean and Capamore that were drawn together in the hurling as well. And it's popped up a few places, obviously, but just something to note that there are teams that are going to play each other in football and hurling, so it should make for an interesting year. That was our Premier Junior A Football Championship draw. So we're on to the last draw of the evening. This is the Woodlands House Hotel Junior A Football Championship. So we have, again, 12 teams, two groups of six, and we're going to put in four seeded teams first, Jerry. So number three is Ballybrick and Bohermore. Number five is Ben Oak. Number seven is Camogue Rovers. And number nine is Hospital Herbertstown. So that's them, in they go. Yeah, and again, I suppose we'd like to thank with the, the Fitzgerald uh, family from the Woodlands House Hotel in Adair, with the, again for their sponsorship, and again, with that, much appreciated, and we look forward to a uh, good competitive competition. So, first out, we have number five. That is Ben Oak. Number nine. Number nine is Hospital Herbertstown. Number seven. Number seven is Hogue Rovers. And number three. Number three. Number three is Ballybrick and Bohermore. So they are our seeded teams. So now we're going to pop, pop in the eight teams that are left. So number one, Jerry, is a dare. Number two is a Han. Number four is Bally Brown. Number six is Brewery. Number eight is Grana Ballingarry. Number 10 is Mungret. And number 11, Napiershig. And the last one of the evening is South Liberties, number 12. Number four. That is Bally Brown. Number 12. Is South Liberties. Number 11. Is Nipirchik. Number eight. Is Grana Ballingarry. Number 10. Mungret. Number 10. Number two is a Han. Number six, Brewery. And our last one is number one. That is Adair. So that is a wrapping up. Before we say thanks to Jerry, I suppose Jerome and Jack, do you want to take a look at these two groups up on our screen at the moment? Fair yeah, uh, Group 1 there, a bit of a city uh, championship look of it with uh, Bally Brown, Nipirshig and, and Mungret all there and uh, you'll have a big junior uh, derby there in round 1 as well with Ban Oak playing Camogue Rovers. Uh, 
Group two as well, Grana Balangari, the, the newcomers into this grade, and they're going well in the uh, in the Junior B uh, football tournament in in Akaderi at the moment. So that'll uh, that'll have a couple of games under their belt for them uh, as the season progresses. But again, it's it's a it's a pretty um, pretty even spread of of the uh, potential contenders, I think. Yeah, just such on Grana Balangari. I suppose they were there thereabouts for a good few years and got over the line this year. And I suppose best wishes to them in the Munster final. But they'll be a team. They'll be looking to make up for last time. Adair is another kind of, they have a lot of young players coming through, so they'll be, be keen to make their mark. But a nice spread of teams, as you mentioned, the city aspect in Group 1 will definitely be interesting, but again, very hard to call this time of year, but very interesting ties. Jerry, just for the football, if you want to say a few words for Yeah, which they just like, which on behalf of the football community, I'd like to uh, wish all the clubs the very best to look in the championship uh, coming up. Uh, again, it's great to, to be back to the original format, which uh, the pre COVID format, as it was, which we had in 2019. Um, and we'll say, like, thank the referees as well, we'll say, for their uh, assistance during the year. We'll say, and without those, unfortunately, we cannot have our games. And we'd like to say, if there's anybody out there that wants to participate at uh, refereeing level, we we'll say to just send their names in. We we'll say to anyone the CCC, Art Mike Reardon, indeed, and we'll be glad to have you on board. So again, we we'll say thanks to everybody involved here today for your help and assistance, and look forward to uh, a sporting 2022. Yeah, Thank thanks you. to Jerome and Jack and of course to Seamus McNamara and Jerry Phillips tonight. That is it from our Hurling and Championship draw. Make sure and get out and support your club and of course the fixtures will be distributed in two times. So thank you for watching.